Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I am your host, Tyrannosaurus Senpai, and welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaur Series news video. Before we get started today, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on the channel up until this point. We've gotten 30 subscribers in the last four days, and that's awesome stuff. Thank you all so much for that. But anyway, I'd also like to say, even though we're getting quite a lot of new subscribers, there are still 87.5 four of you guys, I think now, that aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button, especially if you guys are constantly watching my videos and things like that. We're going to be covering all kinds of stuff regarding Beasts of the Mesozoic, The Isle, Jurassic World Evolution 2, and all things dinosaur related. Well, I say all things, but it's most things related. <laughs> but I think you guys get the general idea of what I do around here. But anyway, we got some news regarding some new dinosaur sculpts, some new unlocks that have been made, and some new box art. So let's go ahead and start with how the Kickstarter is looking right now. As of recording this, it's 10, 12 p.m. on October 13th. The Kickstarter has made $415,293 with 1,585 backers and eight days at least left in the kickstarter the kickstarter does end october 22nd at 3 p.m i think we can do this guys so naturally um i do want to say there's been a bit of a slowdown in the kickstarter lately but it seems that we've kind of picked ourselves back up on our feet and now we have more new stuff the gorgosaurus for example has been unlocked and with a sweet new paint job for their face and the eo tyrannus has also been unlocked so what comes next the next one at four hundred forty thousand dollars the daspletosaurus taurosis and may i just say this paint job for the daspletosaurus looks amazing oh wow i've really misjudged how this dinosaur was gonna look i thought it was gonna look bland and hideous but now that I'm seeing it, it actually looks really good. The colors are based on a chameleon of some sort. And it looks startlingly beautiful. It's also now getting me to think if I might want to get this guy. Jesus Christ, Tyrannus Senpai, don't kill your wallet. You're already getting 10 of these freaking Tyrannosaurs, at least. Calm the hell down. But I love the different kinds of colors we have. Black, red off-white and gold it's a beautifully painted tyrannosaur and i love it i really do ah i love it anyway our next bit of news is actually regarding the albertosaurus sarcophagus and this isn't actually like officially confirmed or revealed by david silva but i think i wanted to show you the, you guys this just because i thought it was cool um that is that is it <laughs> This is, I think, a tease of the box art that we're going to be getting for the Albertosaurus sar sarcophagus. I believe this because, well, the, it's kind of glaringly obvious. It's That's the Beast of the Mesozoic Albertosaurus. And if that wasn't enough of a giveaway, there's a Pachyrhinosaurus from Beast of the Mesozoic. Here, here, and here. I think it's safe to assume that this is going to be the Albertosaurus box art uh, that we're going to be seeing here. This isn't the full reveal. It's only like a, a cube. It's just a box. It's just a square. But, um... I think it looks good, and I can't wait to see the full reveal when this is complete. I mean, it looks like it's already done. I'm just waiting for the full reveal. But I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I'm not sure where I found this. It was someone who posted this on Instagram. It was like, wait a minute, that's the box art for the Albertosaurus. Holy crap, <laughs> post it now. But yeah, um, we'll see um, how this turns out. I like the way this looks. And Albertosaurus, I did say, was going to be one of the dinosaurs I got if it got unlocked. So let, let's see how this turns out. Next up on our list, we have the Dryptosaurus Aquilunguis. As the box art for this animal has also been completed. And it looks a lot like a bear like i've said in the past the fur and the colors it looks like a grizzly bear 
I know the colors are based on a Harris hawk, but come on, that looks like a bear. Look at it. And of course, I do like this. I like this a lot. I think this was also done by Shannon Beaumont, who also did the Guan Long, the Dai Long, and a few of the other Tyrannosaurus featured in this series. We also got some seagulls flying around. I didn't know they were gulls during this time. And I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, I think it's just dead beyond recognition because I can't see a face. And of course, we got some trees in the background and some rocky hills and a beach. I imagine this is somewhere like, kind of like in a lot, like an Alaskan environment where it's just like a, a temperate forest. I like the design of this box art. And I can't wait to see the Dryptosaurus when it gets released. Our next bit of news, which is actually quite possibly the most eventful, is the Gorgosaurus. As this dinosaur has gotten a new paint uh, application. And as I said before, the only real difference is they added blue striping on its face. Whereas if you remember the last one, these stripes were non-existent. It was just a blank spot here. But now we got some gorgeous blue striping on that face, and it looks breathtakingly beautiful. I'm not sure why David Silva decided to put this blue face on there, but I'm quite happy that he did. And that's not the only reveal we got of this dinosaur. We also have the reveal of the Gorgosaurus box art. And Jesus Christ, it looks gorgeous. I don't care what anyone else says about this box art, this Gorgosaurus is breathtaking. They even got the the blue striping that we see in the previous shot that we had. The Canadian background with the lush rivers, the temperate forest, and even a juvenile Centrosaurus being chased by this Tyrannosaur. It looks amazing, and the saliva, oh. I believe this was also done by Raul Ramos, who did the Walking with Dinosaurs uh, Special Edition T-Rex box art, as well as the Bista Heverser. And I gotta say, I think I love his art the most. I really do love Raul Ramos' work on the Beasts of the Mesozoic series, and I definitely can't wait to see what else he's got in store, because we still got a couple more Tyrannosaurs that we haven't seen yet. And of course, we also have some news regarding the Tyrannosaurus Rex 118th scale and 135th scale. Now, for the longest while, um, these of the Mesozoic fans have wanted rap uh, a new paint kit for the dinosaurs. Because in the Raptor series, we had to build a Raptor set where it was just a blank Raptor. You put it together and then you paint it. We didn't get that with the Ceratopsians. And... A lot of people were wondering, well, are we going to get that with the Tyrannosaurs? The answer, yes. There is now an add-on reward for not only the 135th scale Tyrannosaurus, but the 118th scale Tyrannosaurus as well, that you can paint and put together to your heart's content. And I got to say, I think I'm excited about this. I'm definitely going to be picking up the 135th scale gray version of the Tyrannosaurus because I actually have something I want to do with it. But overall, I'm really excited about what we have coming up with Beasts of the Mesozoic. I truly am, and I can't wait to see what's coming next. We have five more Tyrannosaurus coming. Daspletosaurus, Electrosaurus, Mars, Tarbosaurus, and Albertosaurus. You guys, we are almost there. If we can keep up this trajectory in the Kickstarter, we can definitely unlock the last remaining Tyrannosaurus from this line before the Kickstarter ends in a, in a little over a week. Ugh, I'm so excited, you guys. But anyway, what do you guys think of the fact that we're actually going to be getting not only the 118 scale Tyrannosaurus, but the 135 scale Tyrannosaurus as a buildable kit that we can paint? And of course, what are your thoughts on the Gorgosaurus's box art? And the new color choice for this Gorgosaurus' face. Let me know what you guys think of the box art for the Dryptosaurus. And this possible reveal of the Albertosaurus art box. And of course, this beautiful paint job of the Daspletosaurus. I really like this guy. I really, really like it. But anyway, guys, that's all the time I got for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord and to the Kickstarter 
in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyranna Senpai signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.